everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making this really a super cute 3D Christmas tree. Make it as a doorstop, make it as a muscle warmer, whatever you want to do. It's so, so, so easy, I promise you. Um, and we're going to show you now how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need is a template. I've simply drawn half a Christmas tree on an A4 piece of paper. Cut it out and then you're going to cut that on the fold of your fabric. What you need is two in one colour. So nice holly pattern and two in another colour so I've gone for just a green with a gold foiling and it is so straightforward going to take one in one colour right side up the other needs to be in the other colour right side down put them together you're going to stitch along all the way on the outside and you're going to stitch two inches in on the bottom you need a gap here so that you can stuff this and you can also turn it so let's stitch both of those together and then the other two exactly the same and then we'll come back and put them all together i like to start at the top do one side and then start at the bottom and do the other side also a quarter of an inch seam allowance seems to work really well if you struggle with that just make your tree a little bit bigger and then do a half inch seam allowance if you want. Now for the corners, what I do is I keep the needle down, lift the foot, turn the fabric, put the foot down and that's made a really nice point so you can just carry on stitching. And I do the same for the inner corners. I've got a really super cameraman helping me today, Jaden. My son. And then put your needle in and remember two inches along this bottom edge. You will need to do a back stitch. And then start two inches away from the edge on the other side. Don't forget to back stitch. Okay, so that's one done. We're just going to repeat that with the other two. Exactly the same again. So if you've got a craft fair or something coming up and you need something to stock out that craft fair, why, why not put some lavender inside here? <laughs> or you can make it into heat pads and add some rice in so that they can be warmed up in the microwave. Just make sure that if you're going to be doing that, that your fabric is 100% cotton and your thread is 100% cotton as well so that it can go in the microwave. <laughs> now you may think I'm slightly rushing. And I am, because my battery is on low and I want to get this all done for you. And also I wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You've all come over from my mum's channel, um, Lizzie Curtis, and um, we did a lovely video, two videos together. If you haven't seen them, do, do check them out. Okay, now we've done that. What we're going to do is we're going to turn these right sides around. Now, I would recommend snipping off those end pieces so you can get a really good turn. Um, I'm just going to turn my iron on. If you've got a wool mat, these are really good to use at this point, um, or because it's really helpful just to have around, or you can take this up to your ironing board. That's absolutely fine, obviously. So snip off all those edges. And the same on this side. So my cameraman's arm is getting tired. <laughs> He's very good. He's um, doing all the close-ups that you've seen. I asked him to get me one of my wall pressing mats so I could press it. And this is the one he's bought me. Right, we've switched up the cameras because that battery died. So I hope that it's... Um, Seamless. Uh, right, so I'm poking out all the corners of our Christmas tree. This is where doing snips into those corners really does help with the bunching. All the way along. If you can hear any other noises, it's my other son. He's also in here. He's colouring currently. Sebi, say hello. Hello everyone, and my mummy is the best mummy, there's a cough in the world. <laughs> I didn't pay him to say that, I promise. You right. Did. <laughs> but, okay. Right, I'm 
gonna press this now. I'm gonna press this really well. Get right into those edges. Right, so that's one pressed and turned. We're gonna do the other one. So I definitely recommend snipping and then turning. I notice there's one point there that I haven't quite poked out well enough, so I want to do that before I um, stuff it. So I'll just do this one and then I'll go back to that one. Oh, bless you, Jordan. I was trying to hold it. <laughs> this is not torturous, you can sneeze. <laughs> you did well to hold it in. Mm. Try to say if you've got an issue. Right, press this one really well. This one's actually going to be easier to press because I snipped into those um, inward triangles on this one and I didn't do that on that one. Right, so now you've got both of those trees, what you want to do is place um, two different fabrics together. So the holly leaves on here are facing up and the green is going to face down. You want to put those together so that when you stitch, you've got two different ones there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to stitch from the point to the bottom of here. A back stitch is really, really imperative because that's going to come under some pressure. Can you see that crust, trusty, crusty, trusty <laughs> cameraman? Thank trusty you. cameraman? Uh, yes. Yeah, brilliant. Your, so your start at the right. top. You could use a really nice metallic thread if you wanted to, um, really give it some bling. If you wanted to draw a line to make this really precise, then you can do. And just about a quarter of an inch from the edge, do a back stitch and that's it. Don't go all the way to the end. Leave that quarter of an inch so that you can turn this round. Right. Trim off your threads. Like so. Now comes the fun part. Stuffing. Ooh. I've got toy stuffing here. You can use a cushion stuffing. You can use wadding. Whatever you want. Again, we spoke about using lavender. Anything like that. I'm just going to trim these top seams. So, you left um, gaps at the bottom, so you're going to simply stuff each section. So you'll notice now that each section has got its own area. So get your stuffing. You probably will need something to manipulate this in. Um, I tend to just use scissors. You can use a knitting needle, um, anything you want, but just be careful. Because if you use something that's too sharp, you could go through your fabric, and that is not what you want after you've spent your time making your Christmas tree. Now for the first bit of wadding, you're just going to want to stuff that all the way to the end. And once that, that end bit is done, it gets a lot easier. So do you see how quickly this is coming together? Stuff the wadding into the points. If you wanted to leave the end slightly floppy so that you could perhaps sew on a star or something like that, and it's not going to be too much for your machine, then absolutely do so. I'm not going to do um, that on this occasion. Take my scissors and just manipulate that into the end. Again, be careful if you're using scissors. Uh, it's better to use something long and blunt, but I don't have anything to hand at the moment. Right, so stuff that all in. I'm gonna ca carry on doing this all off camera, and then I'll come back to you when it's all stuffed. So now we've stuffed the entire Christmas tree, all you're gonna do is turn over each section by quarter of an inch, and you're gonna to have to hand stitch this. You could do it on the machine, but it might get a bit fiddly, so I really recommend that you hand stitch this together, each one of the four sections. It's not gonna take you long, because we didn't leave a massive gap. Each one of these is just over an inch wide, so don't worry about that. And then just give it a little plump, like so. And then you've got your beautiful 3D Christmas tree. You could have that as a doorstop, you could have it as whatever you want to have. Decoration for your house, fill up your Christmas stall with those, uh, make some money for your favourite charity, whatever you like. So thank you so much for watching this video. My next video is going to be a really simple coin purse, which is really, really simple. So make sure you watch out for that. Do subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and have a check out of the other videos that I've done before and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye!